What's going on guys? This is Chad and welcome to the RC Models and More channel. This is the channel where we talk all things DJI, FPV, models, news, reviews, updates, new drones, all that kind of stuff. I do try to upload stuff on a daily basis, so please consider subscribing. Leave all your comments below in the videos, questions, answers. I like to run a Q&A show once a week that comes out on Mondays. So give me a thumbs up and let's get to the video. What's up guys, Chad here. And I wanted to shoot this video to basically show all the new Mavic owners and the prospective Spark owners how far technology has come when it comes to automatic flight modes. Long gone are the days of flyaways and toilet bowling and all that kind of stuff that we used to have to deal with back in the day when we were building our own copters. Now, when you buy a product today from DJI, it's nearly fully autonomous, but there can be situations where you may lose GPS signal and your aircraft will switch into Addy mode. And this is just a demonstration of what it actually looks like using my Phantom 4 Pro. This is something that we used to fly in back in the day uh, to have some fun and get some more bank angle and everything like that. So keep in mind, it is built into your ship and if something were to happen and you would lose GPS, you would have to be prepared. Only problem is there's no way to really practice it right now. So I just wanted to show everybody what the results could be if you're outside flying and just kind of catch up uh, all you new DJI users with uh, how good you have it now. So enjoy the video. What's going on guys? Chad back with you here on the RC Miles and More channel. Today we are going to talk about Addy Mode or the lack thereof. Now we know from the Phantom series on that we have multiple flight modes, including a mode called Addy Mode. Now going back to building quads by myself, say three years ago when the Phantom first came out, Addy Mode was known as an altitude hold mode. So you had three modes back then. You had a GPS mode, Addy or altitude hold mode, and full manual mode. Full manual mode was pretty much useless. It was out of control. Addy mode was fun to fly in because it gave you more of a control feel and less of that robotic GPS type feel. Now the Phantoms still have Addy mode and the Mavic doesn't. Why is that? Well, I always thought that DJI was pretty smart. They knew that the Mavic was going to be a huge hit and that many first time drone buyers were going to be purchasing it. So I think with all the sensor and dual IMU and compass technology, they really tried to make something that would be almost crash proof for the new drone pilot. You can click into sport mode or any other mode you want, but you're still going to be guided by something or you're going to be limited to height and certain restrictions via the vision positioning system. But with the Phantom 4 Pro and the Phantom 4, we still have the ability to use Addy mode. So what exactly does it look like in flight? Well, let's start off by putting the Mavic up in the air and just showing you how the Mavic will stand right where we put it. Now I'm going to put the Mavic right there because the wind is blowing toward me. So when I start the Phantom 4 and I put it into Addy mode, it's actually going to drift this way. You get into Addy mode by flipping the mode switch here from PS all the way down to A. If you're not an experienced pilot, don't do this at home. Do it in a wide open field. Practice, practice, practice. It will help you get some good shots. So 
So there is Phantom in the air. And I'm going to put it out there at the edge of the frame a little bit. And now I'm going to flip the switch into Addy mode and watch it come back and drift. It maintains its altitude, but I'm the one that's doing the flying. I'll let go of the stick again, and there it goes with the wind. And it goes fast. So you really got to be careful. I'm going to let it come back, and I'm going to flip it into GPS mode right in front of the us. and you see how it stops on a dime. Little Mavic's down there hanging tight. Lost a little bit of altitude with all the wind. go ahead and bring it in for a landing. Now you can't get your Mavic into Addy mode. You just basically have to wrap it in aluminum foil or strap a GoPro on top and create a bunch of noise and interference like I did in one of my earlier videos. That's it for this little demonstration. Hope you guys liked it. See you on the next video.